If you just picked up a brand new iPhone, congratulations. Or if you have an older iPhone or an iPad and you want to learn how to use iMovie, then this beginner's tutorial is for you. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get your videos into the app, add music if you want, add sound effects if you want, then export it out so you can put it anywhere you want, including YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or just share it out with your family or friends. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for coming by. If you want to learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone, or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's open up iMovie and let me show you how to do this. So when you open up iMovie, you're gonna see three options along the top. You're gonna see video, projects, and theater. For this tutorial, we're gonna focus on projects because this is how you start a new project. And to create a new project, you simply wanna tap on Create Project. And then it's gonna let you choose between a movie or a trailer. For this tutorial, we're gonna focus on making a movie. So we're gonna tap on Movie. Then it's gonna load up all of our media. So you can scroll through and you can find a video that you want. If it drops you into the wrong location on your device, go up here to media on the top left, tap on that, and it's gonna give you some options to go to your video, photo, albums, or moments. So I'm gonna go into my video area, and I'm gonna go into all, and I'm gonna choose a video to work with. Now one of the cool features here is if you tap on the video, it's gonna give you an option to play the video where it's gonna give you an option to check it, which is gonna add it into your queue to add into your movie, or you can trim it to the left or to the right by grabbing these yellow areas on the left and the right, and simply moving it to the left or to the right with your finger, or you can press down and hold and move your finger to the left and to the right, and it's gonna actually show you the frames of the video. So for this video, I'm just gonna take it as is, I'm gonna tap on it, and I'm gonna tap on the check mark. And you see down here on the bottom where it says create movie, I have one item less than one minute. So now that I'm ready to import this, I'm just gonna tap on create movie and it's gonna add it right into my timeline. Now for this movie, I chose a clip that was not landscape or 16 by nine ratio. This was actually shot in vertical mode or portrait. So I'm gonna show you how to work with that. So the first thing I wanna do is I want it to fill the screen. So I'm gonna tap on the footage and then up here on the right, you're gonna see the zoom icon. I'm gonna tap on that, and I'm gonna use two fingers to pinch and zoom, and you see what's happening here is it fills up the screen. Now it's filling up a 16 by nine ratio screen. So this is what I actually want here. Now that I have its size, I'm gonna come down to the timeline, and I can move the clip by pressing my finger and holding it and moving it to the left or to the right, and you can see what's happening here. Now if I wanna cut this clip, I simply double tap on the clip, and you're gonna see a bunch of tools that opened up down here on the bottom. And on the far left, you're gonna see scissors. So I have the scissors, then I'm gonna to look to the far right and you're gonna see split, detach, duplicate, or delete. I wanna split this in half. So I tap split and now I have two clips and what's left in the middle is the transition block. So if I tap on that, it's gonna open up transition options. For this one, I'm gonna do a simple slide, so I tap on that. But you'll notice here, under the icon that's selected in blue, there are several dots under the icon. Each time I tap on that, it's gonna choose the direction of the slide. So I'm gonna take it back to the first one, and then if you go over to the far left, you can see the time that it's gonna take for the transition to complete. So I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna go back to the clip by tapping. And if I scrub through it, I can see what happens here, and it's simply, slides the clip from one to the other. And anytime I wanna play it, over here on the left, I just simply tap on the play button. Okay, that's easy enough. Now let's say that after I have my transition, there's a part of this that I wanna trim off. So I'll move to the area where I wanna cut it again. I'll double tap and hit the scissors. I'm going to split it again. But say this time, I wanna delete the part that's on the right or I wanna trim it off. To trim it, I simply grab one of the edges on the left or to the right, and then I move my finger along here and it will trim it down. Just like this. And if I wanna get rid of the clip completely, I make sure that it's highlighted and then I go to the far right down on the bottom and I tap on delete. And then it's gone. Now, if I wanna add a filter, I go to the settings icon here on the right in the middle and I tap on that. And the project filters are all along the top. You can see black and white, blast, blockbuster, blue, and so on. This works just like any other camera or video filter that you use for Instagram or any other photo editing app. And then under the project filter, this is the theme. And we're gonna to get to that a little bit later, but the way the theme works is that you choose a basic look for your movie. So if you want something that looks simple, we can tap on simple 
and then all of the text and the transitions and everything will be simple. If you want something that looks like the news, you tap on that one and the transitions and the text and the lower thirds, they're gonna look like something out of a news release. So for this, we're gonna keep it simple. So we're gonna stay right there. And underneath that, if you wanna fade in from black, you turn that on. And if you wanna fade out to black, you turn that on. But for this tutorial, we are not gonna use a project filter, but we are gonna fade in from black and fade out to black. So we've already activated those and we're gonna tap on done. And it's gonna take us right back to where we started. Now, if I wanna add some sound effects or music, I'm gonna go back to the left and I'm gonna tap on the plus icon. And this is gonna allow me to add audio or extra pictures or more video. But for this, we're gonna add audio. So I'm gonna come down to the audio icon. I'm gonna tap on audio. Then I can choose between theme music, sound effects, playlist, albums, artists, and songs. Now, don't get confused here because this will load up your iTunes library and you don't want that because of copyright reasons. However, iMovie does come with pre-recorded music and pre-recorded sound effects, and that's what we're gonna use for this tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on theme music, and you see these are the options here, and on the right it tells you how long they are. So we're gonna choose something playful. All right, so as you tap on it, you see it starts to play the music. I like that right away. So on the far right, I'm gonna tap on use and it's gonna import it directly underneath the video. Now what's gonna happen is my audio from the video might be louder or the theme music might be too low. So now I need to adjust that. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tap on the clips and that's gonna open up the tools on the bottom and you see the audio icon over here on the left. So I'm gonna tap on that and I can lower the volume to where I want it. So I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna test it and I'm gonna hit play. Okay, so the second clip is a little loud, so I'm gonna tap on that, go to audio, and I'm gonna bring that down to match. Now a little tip here is you can do this before you actually cut your clip. So if you have one long clip or two long clips, you can adjust your audio before you start cutting. That will make the whole process even faster. So I'm gonna take it back to the beginning. I'm gonna press play. All right, I still think that's a little too loud. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go down and tap on the theme song itself. And I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial, that works. But I wanna add a sound effect. So I'm gonna go back to the plus icon and it's already in the audio section where the theme songs are. So I wanna back out to audio and come down to sound effects. Now you'll see a ton of sound effects here. And as you see, you can just tap on them and it will play the sound. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I like that one because there's fish in the water, there's bubbles, so we're gonna use that one. So I'm gonna tap it and it's gonna drop it right in. So I'm gonna double tap on that and I can adjust the audio as well. When I move it to an area where I might think it sounds good, I'm gonna tap on play. Okay, so now I have the sample clips where I want them. I have some sound effects and I have some theme music. So I wanna add a little text. So I'm gonna tap on the clip that I want the text to appear on and it's gonna open up the toolbox down on the bottom once again and you see the T that is for text. And as you can see, it loads up a bunch of options on how your text can actually look on top of your video. So if I tap on one and I scroll back here and I press play, that's how that one looks. So I'm gonna tap on the text and I'm gonna add my own text. So now I have the text added in. And as you can see, this is how the text looks. But if you wanna change the way it comes in, you can tap on the clip and you can go through and you can find another way of showing the text. Now I like how this looks, but I wanna show you how to continue adding clips because obviously you're gonna have more clips to work with than this. So I'm gonna go back to the plus icon over on the left. I'm gonna back out of audio. Then I'm gonna back out again until I see video. So I can come in, I can tap on video, and then I can choose another video to add. So I'm gonna go back to all. So I'm gonna scroll through my videos until I find the one that I wanna add, and I know it's this one. So I'm gonna tap on this, then I'm gonna hit the plus icon. 
and it's gonna drop it right into the timeline. As you can see here, it added its own transition and I have not yet zoomed in. So I'm gonna tap on the clip and I'm gonna use two fingers and I'm gonna zoom in just like I did the other one and move it around until I get it right where I want it. And then let's scroll through and then it just does a fade. If I wanna change the transition, I can tap on it and I can change it or I can leave it exactly where it is. So I'm okay with this for this tutorial. Now, if I wanna slow this down, I can tap on the clip, it's gonna open up the tools in the bottom, and on the left next to the scissors is a little clock. I can tap on that and you'll see it adds a turtle or a rabbit option down here in the bottom. If I wanna slow it down, I wanna move it towards the turtle. Now, as I slow it down, it's going to increase the length of the video, and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna slow it down, then I'm gonna tap off, and I'm gonna check it out and see what it looks like. Okay, that works just fine, but my bubbles stop, so I'm gonna come back and I'm going to add more bubbles. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna to go to audio, I'm gonna to go to sound effects, and I'm gonna go find my bubbles and I'm gonna add them again. And just like that, it added the bubbles right into the clip. Now I wanna make sure that the audio is the same, so I'm gonna tap on the first clip and check out where the audio is, which is 28%. Then I'm gonna tap on the second clip and match that one down to 28%. Now, if you have any questions about this app that I haven't covered in this beginner's tutorial, go down, leave a comment below. I read every single question and comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. And when this video's over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on this conversation and I'd love to hear from you. But let's go back into the app and let me show you how to export this out so you can share this with your family, friends, or anywhere on social media. Okay, so now we're ready to export the file. So up here on the top left, you see done. We're gonna tap on that. And of course, on the right, if you wanna go back to edit, you can edit it there or you can play it on the bottom left or in the middle, you can tap this icon, which is export. We're gonna tap on that and we're gonna save the video. So I'm gonna tap on save video and it's gonna render this video out based on the export size that I choose. If you're gonna upload this to YouTube, I suggest using the highest possible quality. For this phone, it's HD 1080p, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna tap on 720p just to make it encode a little quicker. And as you can see, it renders out the video and it saves it into your photo library. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you in the next video.